Snes Jump. Gundam Wing Endless Duel, or its official title, Shin Kido Senki Gundam Wing Endless Duel, is one of the best Super Famicom games that stayed in Japan, and certainly one of the best 16-bit fighting games of its era. Why is that? It's the little things. Well, actually to start with, it's the big, huge, bright, colorful things right in front of your face. You fight as a giant mech, or mobile suit as the Gundam universe refers to it, and yeah, this game looks freaking spectacular. And it's not just the quality pixel art and polished animation, it's the speed and the frame rate. Despite the sheer amount of stuff going on, this game is light fast. But what really pushes Gundam Wing Endless Duel over the top are the little things that still make it feel like you're fighting as a giant ass-kicking robot rather than just some guy. And that's because of the excellent sound design, as well as the subtle shake of the camera perspective to imply the massive weight of these mobile suits. Some fighting games, especially modern games, tend to get a little carried away with the camera shake thing. It can get real annoying real quick. But here, it's pitch perfect. The game is able to maintain a sense of chaos while keeping the fights focused enough so they aren't just one big random mess. So yeah, combine the speed, the frame rate, the pixel art, the sound design, and the little touches done just right, and you have yourself a quality fighting game. As for the combat itself, I guess it's easy to expect your typical Street Fighter clone, and in some ways it is. This does play like a Street Fighter style game along the lines of Street Fighter 2 Alpha more than anything else, and that's definitely not a bad thing. It's far from generic, you got combos, air dashing, double air dashing, in fact lots of mid-air stuff, which is really cool, juggling, projectile weapons, and you can actually attack your opponent while they're down. You don't see that too often in fighting games back then. There's 10 fighters to choose from, and of course everyone is based on the Gundam Wing anime, which I'm not all that familiar with. There's some distinct differences in the fighters, but nothing out of the ordinary. I do like the heavy armed character who's just laden with weaponry, that's badass. The quicker fighters, like Tall Geese, are able to take advantage of the game's vertical scrolling, so that's pretty cool. There is of course a versus mode and a story mode. Beat the story mode and you unlock a hard mode and another character to use in multiplayer versus. Of course when talking about Gundam Wing, you have to mention Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Fighting Edition, and why is that? Because that was a North American exclusive game that came six months earlier. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? It was made by the same developer, Natsume, and it serves more or less as a makeshift prototype for Endless Duel. But there's fewer characters to choose from, the fighting is a little less varied, really if anything Endless Duel plays more like a polished sequel to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Fighting Edition, just, you know, if they completely switch TV shows. Anyway, yeah, if you're into fighting games, or even if you're not, Gundam Wing Endless Duel is well worth playing today. If I had to make a list of the 10 or 12 best Japan-only games that never made it overseas, this would definitely be on there. The problem is that the cartridge is, of course, wildly expensive, so once again, it's flash cartridges to the rescue. So yeah, as usual, any way you're able to play this game, highest recommendation for Endless Duel.